So I'm going to tell you how to set up uh, the GI Cat for the first time to harvest a catalog from threads using the NC ISO service. So we've just deployed a new version of uh, a GI Cat here. Here's the Tomcat Manager. So if we go to GI Cat, this is what it looks like. You have the uh, a link to a configurator, which we're going to use in a second here at the top, and then it lists a couple of clients you can use to search the different uh, published interfaces, the things that you actually use to search your GI cat once it's harvested metadata and put it in the database. And down here is a sample configuration which is harvesting from a couple of w, a WCS, a couple of WMSs, but we're going to set this up to harvest the threads catalog. So we're going to go to the configurator and this we're going to log in using the default password that comes after you've installed it which is top secret and it comes up here again with these other these various configurations but uh, we want to make a new configuration so we click on new here I'm going to call this geoport which is the name of our uh, threads and uh, uh, threads and G GI cat server we're going to click on the geoport then and open it up and we see it has two published interfaces by default we're going to add in this Esri geoportal service and in this open search service. So this will allow GICAT to be harvested by Esri's GeoPortal server and uh, we use the open search in MATLAB. So now I'm going to add in the uh, endpoint that I want to harvest here uh, to figure out what that is. I'm going to go to our threads catalog. This is the catalog I want to harvest. It's a small catalog. Um, I'm going to do a right mouse click and do the copy link location. Come back and drop that in as the endpoint. But I'm going to change the uh, end to XML instead of HTML. Give it a name, Coast Model. This is uh, John Warner's model of the uh, East Coast sediment transport model. And I'm going to come down here now and uh, select the Threads NC ISO service and tell it that our Threads version is 1.02 in our catalogs. I'm going to set up a harvester here. I'm going to say that I want to harvest every day. And uh, if I want it to start to uh, do uh, some harvesting right now, I've got to go down here and click on the Start button. And it says Configuration must be saved before proceeding. OK. So off it goes, starting the harvesting. And this takes a little bit of time. It's going through the catalog, uh, reading the ISO, NC ISO metadata, and storing it in the database uh, here in GICAT. Now it's completed. So we can go here and uh, close this. And now if we go, if we can, if we see that this resource has been federated here, we could add some more, but we're not going to do that now. I'm going to go ahead and log out. Actually, before, oops, I'm going to log back in because I forgot to do one thing here. I want to change these global settings. Um, we could change the password here, but I, what I need to do is change this, um, this to from localhost to geoport.hui.edu, which is how people see uh, this from the same from the outside. Okay, so I'm going to save that. I'm not going to do anything else for now, like set up the administrator name. I'm just going to say, just change that one thing. I'm not going to bother to change the password now either. So now I'm going to log out and uh, go to our GI cat, hui.edu, GI cat. And here we go. And let's see what's happened here. We have now these, these four interfaces. We see our catalog down here that's being harvested, and we see there's some recent activity that it was just harvested. Now, just to make sure that it's actually harvesting, uh, it actually did harvest something, we can go and test out this GI portal client. We click here, it comes up with a little map interface. We can say, click on something like, so we can search for salinity and see if it finds anything. And it comes back and it finds some data sets. And you can actually see as you hover over the various data sets and their IDs here, it shows you what uh, region that they cover. So I could go in and select by area uh, and by time. And and, uh, and now we could hit this from uh, MATLAB and all sorts of things. But uh, we're not going to do that now. So now you've seen how to set up GICAT for the first time uh, in less than five minutes. Thanks.